The Hope Centre is Derby City Church's presence in this community and over the last 10 years we've seen tens of thousands of people come through the doors and we've seen um, different varieties of activities that go on here so we've had toddler groups, we've had over 50s lunch clubs I've done myself a cookery course here and we've done job clubs, Princess Trust have used the building and lots of different other organisations have used the facilities here. It's been amazing. Everyone who uses it often says what a fantastic space it is and we just simply say thank you Lord. Well it's great to be able to celebrate 10 years of the Hope Centre with you. I remember way back in the, uh, the late 2000s we were looking for a new building for the whole church. And we looked at so many different places, warehouses, shops, a theatre or new builds and just nothing was working out. And then one day, the building opposite church uh, came up for sale. It was being used as an office block at the time. So Dave and I thought, well, we might as well just have a look at it. Nothing to lose, have we? And as we walked into the building, it was like stepping back in time. It was like we stepped back into the 1970s. It was so old fashioned. There was dark wooden panelling everywhere telephone equipment that looked like it should be in a museum and piles and piles of paperwork and just stuff everywhere. I mean looking back I think even the people that were working there they had huge moustaches, mullet hairstyles, uh, flares, it was just like a time machine. To be honest it was in such a state that it was hard to imagine, I find it really hard to imagine what on earth we could do with it. But Dave knew that this was it. He could see that this building could be the place to fulfill the dream that God had laid in his heart for Derby City Church at that time. All I could see was like an old-fashioned office block, but Dave could see the Hope Centre. And so the dreaming and the planning began, and I can remember hours and hours of standing around floor plans, looking at what we could do with each room, whilst Dave also spent hours looking at budget sheets, looking at what we could afford to do as well. So I just want to say thank you to God for his provision, in the building. Thank you to God for Dave's vision to get the thing started and thank you to everyone who's invested so many hours and hours of their lives into serving the people of Derby. God sees all of it and it honours his name in the city and I'm now very much looking forward to seeing what the next 10 years will have in store for the Hope Centre. Well this is Tuesday afternoon, this is Food Bank Day, we're busy making parcels up and uh, uh, seeing people as they come, they bring the vouchers in and we give them the, the parcels of food. So uh, a busy day. Well we were both there on the first day weren't we when yeah. the food bank opened and um, wow I can't believe it's ten years ago. I know, I know. And Where's we, the time gone? And we were a small team weren't we? Yeah. And yeah. we did everything. We had to run down the stairs, let people in, pack bags, give them a cup of tea, talk to them. But, you know, it was nothing like it is now because it's, it's so busy now. Hey, Derby City Church. Hey, Hope Centre. Congratulations. I cannot believe it's been 10 years since the Hope Centre has been going and serving the city of Derby. I remember Dom and I moving to Derby when the Hope Centre was just in its baby steps and I remember some of the rooms still being renovated and helping to pick out the cupboards for the um, kitchen upstairs and the youth lounge. I don't know if it's still a youth lounge, you'll have to tell me. But um, yes, I was Hope Centre Manager for two years right at the beginning uh, until Maxime was born. And I remember sitting in the food bank with Phil and the ladies waiting for people to come and knock at the doors. Word hadn't spread by then uh, of the work of the Hope Centre and uh, I just want to say it's incredible, it's an absolute um, example for us what you guys are doing, the way you are serving the city, the way you are being light and salt in Derby. Um, we love it, we uh, are now going to, to start a food bank ourselves um, just to try and implement some of the things that we've learned with you guys. So keep up the good work. It's an amazing blessing. I know God is looking and smiling upon the work that you're doing. Thank you for all the hours you put into it. Denise and all the rest of the team, you're doing an incredible job. Love you guys and we hope to see you soon. Bye, enjoy and celebrate. 
I think I joined because I, I, I just wanted to give something back. I mean, consider everything that uh, Jesus has done in, right. in my family's uh, life. I've worked all my working life, but I have to say that working here has been far more rewarding than paid work. It's, it's good. Wow, it's amazing to think 10 years the Hope Centre has been in existence. You know, for those who don't know, I was part of the team here and had the privilege to be here for six years. And I just think it's amazing to think about, you know, how the journey began and where it's come to now and just the lives it's impacted. You know, for me, some of the great things we were doing was around, you know, the Christmas meals where we invited people and had Santa and did presents and did the whole thing just for those who, you know, maybe not had that opportunity. You know, and one of the real special things for me was Hope Central, where we would do, you know, fortnightly meals and invite people that came to the Hope Centre and, and just do a bit of a devotion and talk and just chat life and just journey with them and show them there is a hope that's beyond, you know, what they need to access. So I just think the lives that the Hope Centre has touched and the impact it's made, there's so many stories. If we tried to put it all in a book, you know, it would just be too many to fill a book of just the lives that have been impacted. And for me, that's just an amazing thing to see. <laughs> well, <laughs> lots of fun. We've yeah. had lots of laughs, lots of fun. And there's also been tears because there's been some very sad times, but we were just so thankful to be part of it. Happy Day started uh, probably about 2003, 2004. Um, we used to run a friendship group, but that had uh, stopped. And um, so I started the Happy Days group uh, across the road. We were in the Cinderella rooms downstairs. Uh, we used to get about 24, 25 people, maybe 30 come in. And what we try and provide is a um, fun food and friendship, actually. And that's what it was about. We started that across the road. We had some good times across there, but then we bought this place, the Hope Centre, and suddenly we developed this room into a cafe and a kitchen, and suddenly, you know, we had so much more space, and um, we, we still got the people coming who used to come to Happy Days, but then suddenly we got a few people coming from um, other churches, which was great, and then we just had people just coming along, just being invited by people, and, you know, unchurched people, I suppose you might call them, but, you know, but they all started coming along and we've had some fantastic times here. Um, we've been on some lovely holidays together and even the non-church people come along to them. And I heard one lady made a comment to one of the people uh, who helped run Happy Days that actually Thursday was the best day of a week because she came here and it was just her escape from, from her life. Also, Jill uh, runs a stall here where she raises uh, funds, uh, uh, money for... Um, healing missions and we raise a lot of money through that so Jill has a stall out very popular very popular with the Happy Days people so um, and that's where we are. The future yeah it's great it's it's great to be in this position where we can help people where we can uh, be a place where people can turn to and uh, what the opening of the Hope Store as well um, yeah it's it's the Hope Centre we can show people a little hope. We've always wanted to be part of it haven't we? And we've seen people's lives change. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Hi everybody at City Church. I'm Mel, just to let you know I've been helping out at the food bank. Hi guys, I'm Adam. I've uh, just been volunteering down at the food bank, uh, currently on furlough from work. I'm Bob. I'm a volunteer at the Hope Centre. I've been doing this for around two years and it makes me feel better about myself knowing I'm helping people less fortunate than me. I think the great thing about you know the Hope Centre is it attracts volunteers not just from the church but from around the city. You know, and for me, without the volunteers, we would not be able to have achieved in my six years, and I'm sure during the whole ten years, you know, the, the amazing work that has gone on here. And we've had you know just some great times with volunteers. We've obviously had very sad times together when we're dealing with very traumatic and difficult situations. But when you look at you know, 50 to 100 different volunteers helping out throughout the year. It's just a privilege and an amazing thing to see the commitment of people who want to serve.